A very useful way of looking at the primary direction or intentions of mindfulness are to come into experience. So we always have intentions in mindfulness, a general direction. And in mindfulness, it's to experience yourself in the moment, as you are, what's actually going on. So part of this is finding a way of saying to yourself, come into a whole sense of yourself. Uh, a complete sense of yourself. So if one's to sort of separate out those bits, you say, well, there's a relationship and an interaction between the body and the mind. The body, your general sense of your mood and emotions, and your mental activity. So in the actual setting up of your intentions to be mindful, a whole sense of yourself is a very kind of appropriate uh, way of putting it. You're coming into not necessarily a complete balance between them, but a way that they're all here. You have a sense of your body. You have a general sense of your mood, how it is. And you have a general sense of what your mind is doing, what it's applying itself to, <coughs> whether it's very excited or dull, uh, whether it's focused or vague. So this approach of having a clear intention to have a whole sense of yourself is particularly uh, appropriate in one's ordinary everyday life. So whether you're walking to work or you're going somewhere, whether you're just sitting down waiting, you can just give yourself the direction of coming into a whole sense of yourself. And just get used to this. Get used to giving yourself this direction. So it's not so much being in thinking or just being in the body or just being in feeling, but actually integrating the whole of yourself into one whole awareness. So on the basis of that, intention. You can just start to get the sense or the question, what's missing? Or what's not so much in, in experience? So you might not be experiencing your body very clearly. You might be thinking, you might be uh, focusing on something that you want to do, but you don't, you're not actually in the whole sense of your body. You don't know actually in that moment how it feels. So you have the question, what's missing? And then you have the answer, well, let's say the body. So then comes the specific intention to come into and to include the sense of the body. So you start to actually give clear directions to yourself, you know, to feel your weight, to feel your gravity, to feel the sensations of your clothes, the sense of uh, your temperature, for example. And in this way, your mind and your body start to come together. It's your mind, your thinking mind, at this point that's directing you into awareness of your body. So your mind is going, come into the body, stay with the body. Experience your arms, your legs, your torso, your neck, your throat, your face, your head, your breath. Come into it. Stay with it. And simultaneously, you have the actual staying with, coming into and staying with the experience of the body. So the mind and the body are coming together. So, in this way, you you get used to having uh, both the mind and the body functioning together rather than the mind just going off, which is commonly called being in your head, and doing its thing, and actually no sense of the body, or very little sense of the body. So in mindfulness, it's not just about mind. 
It's about the whole of you, the mind and the body together in your environment, in relationship to people. So you can actually start to be more specific. What parts of my body, what aspects of my senses uh, are missing? Uh, do you ever use your uh, smelling sense? I mean, some people just have cut, turned it off like a switch and they never smell unless there's something uh, very obvious like smoke. So you can just decide to, as it were, turn on your senses to actually be more observant visually, to notice smells in any situation you're in. Uh, to, to hear, to listen more. And in terms of the sensations and feelings in your body, just to expand your sensitivity to your body.